Did you get Raspberry Pi 400 as a home learning or working device? Or have you been wondering if the Pi 400 is for you? In this video, we will be sharing with you some tips on how you can make use of a Pi 400 for video conferencing using Google Meet. Enjoy! First things first, here are a couple of basic accessories you will need to get started. A mouse, a webcam, a USB to audio adapter with a pair of earphones, an SD card with the newest version of the Raspberry Pi operating system, a micro HDMI cable connected to a monitor, and the Pi 400 power supply. Again. Make sure your Raspberry Pi runs the newest version of the Raspberry Pi operating system. You will need to make sure the operating system is up to date. Connect your Pi 400 to Wi-Fi. Then, open a terminal window by clicking on the terminal icon in the top menu bar. Then type this command in the terminal. Press enter on the keyboard. Once the update is downloaded, Type the next command into the window as shown. Now, reboot your Raspberry Pi. With the newest version of Raspberry Pi operating system installed, you can use Google's online apps including Google Meet, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, etc. in the Chromium browser. Log in to Google with your Gmail and select Google Meet. Key in the room code and you are in. Okay. Now you have successfully joined a Google Meet room. But before you enter the call, you have to make sure that the webcam and the earpiece are functioning on your Pi 400. So how do you make sure that it's all working as planned? First, right click on the sound icon at the top right. And make sure that the audio output and the audio input are selected to USB audio device. That's because my earpiece is connected to a USB converter to my Pi 400. Next, select device profile and make sure that the HDMI or your webcam are selected to off. This is to ensure that during the call, the microphone that you will be using is only through your earpiece and not through other devices. So under USB audio device, select digital stereo output and analog mono input okay stereo is for the speaker and mono input is for the microphone just select ok so over here select more options click settings under settings make sure that your microphone and your speakers are selected to audio adapter analog mono for microphone and analog adapter digital stereo for speaker under video make sure that the webcam is selected and for the resolution just select auto bear in mind that the video quality solely depends on the internet speed that you have the better your internet speed the higher the quality that it will show to your audience all you have to do is just click join now and you are ready, you are in the call. So there you have it. Most of the steps taken in this video is almost similar to how you set up a video conferencing call in Google Meet with a normal PC. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time.